All right, y'all. Welcome back to another mediocre unboxing. And today we are going to be facing our focus on this charging dock for the MetaQuest 3. It is the AL Q058. I bought this one because it charges the headset and the two controllers. A lot of these that I saw on Amazon for the cheaper price point will charge the headset but does not charge the controllers. Very low profile. It's probably going to be on my dresser and I also bought it because it does not have the LED lights that go all the way around. A lot of reviews, the ones with the RGB lights, they say they're very bright and you can't dim them or turn them off. So let's get this unboxed. Like I said, the box seems pretty thin so it can't be that much to it. So we have instruction packet. I think these are the controller wireless adapters, which it is. We have the, the base and we also have the battery pack. And I've never seen this style before. This was not like the style that was with my son's Quest 2. He's actually had a like a USB-C port on the side. So in the pictures in the manual, it looks like these have contacts along the side of the battery. And I'm thinking this tape is on here to protect those contacts and you can see them right there the silver contacts so if you do receive these batteries and it has this tape on it you need to pull it off so that it will show the silver contacts because uh, they come they come in contact with the charging tabs to charge the battery For the Quest 3's it has a little tab here so you want to push that tab in and then it releases and of course you want to remove the battery. The negative side of the battery goes towards the top of the controller and you do want to make sure that the silver tabs are facing the outside. Uh, that way when you go to install the battery cover it should make connection and just like that one side is done take the other side do the exact same thing press the tab pop the cover off take the included battery out put the new battery like I said negative side goes towards the top make sure the silver surface is facing outwards and then take the new cover install it on the dock does not include a power cord so you will have to use your power cord for um, your MetaQuest or any applicable USB-C power source so for the controllers of course they will face down so that the tabs will connect with the tabs on the dock. Now that we have the batteries and the covers installed on the uh, controllers, you just take them and as you can see when they're charging the lights turn amber like so. And nothing additional is needed for the headset because on the base it has those three connectors and on the bottom of the MetaQuest 3 they have the three connectors so we should be able now I don't know how this is going to work with the hope for with the Bobo VR M3 Pro head strap but I just retracted it all the way out because it has a very very easy and intuitive adjustment for in 
and out like so. So what I'm going to do is adjust it all the way out and I may have to adjust the angle up and I can't tell if it's making the connection with the head strap on. There we go. And now it's charging. So the ALQ058 does indeed work with the Bobo VR M3 Pro head strap. And the light went off because my headset is already fully charged. But it does indeed work and it works nicely and flawlessly and like I said I like this one because the lights are not that bright and also it has a very compact design I would like to have one that has a stand and other stuff but I like this one because it is a very compact design and this is going to be on my dresser so I don't necessarily need it taking up a lot of space and I don't need the lights to be extra bright to disturb me while I sleep so if you're looking for something that is low profile simple to the point and it charges your headset and your controllers this will be the charging dock for you so i will have a link to the alq058 charging dock for the MetaQuest 3 uh in the description below and now and if you are interested in this headset i will also have a link to the bobo vr m3 pro head strap for the MetaQuest 3 as well and if you didn't see the video on this head strap it does come with a magnetic battery that you stick back there that's supposed to give you like an additional hour and a half two hours of playtime so like everything that you do think build and most importantly enjoy if you enjoyed this and uh, VR content please subscribe I have a VR content uh, playlist which is going to be mostly automotive and mechanic based so if you are interested in seeing that from a VR perspective, see uh, that playlist and it will probably be a link on the screen somewhere for that playlist in a few seconds. And then also, if you like this channel, please subscribe, like, share, talk about it, talk bad about it, talk good about it, laundry talking about it. So again, think, build, enjoy. Peace.